This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. Now we are going to use balsamic mockups to design our mockup for this uh, exercise. Okay, so for this design, so it is a basically next step from our uh, ideation phase. Okay, now I'm going to use balsamic mockups. I'm going to give you some of the introduction of this software. It is very easy to use, so don't worry about it. Uh, you can download its trial version for 30 days so uh, and also if you can buy it i think it's worth it if you draw a lot of wireframes if you don't want to purchase it then you can use even photoshop you can download these kits for wireframing kits you can see over here there are many you can see or you can create your own one that's not a very big deal okay now the benefit of using balsamic is that it use very sketchy style so uh, end user or our clients they uh, if you present your wireframe to them they are not going to get confused that this is the final design okay the second benefit is that it has a lot of extensions you can see you can uh, load a lot of other design mockups like you can see over here there are different libraries to support ios design or android design even you can see your apple watch templates then we have a lot of great templates like this one bootstrap if you are if your developers are using bootstrap then you can uh, straight go ahead and wireframe your uh, whole design using this bootstrap library okay also there are templates for ux design we don't need them right now use cases and other projects so there are a lot of big symbol library that is free to use you can load it i am going to show you how we are going to load it these are basically bml files bml you can see over here if you right click download bmml okay so if you click over here download bmml you are going to download this file and we are going to load into our balsamic mockup to load this now let's switch to the window of balsamic mockups and i'm going to just give you the overview of how to use that app okay here is the screen of balsamic mockups you can see over here, here we have new balsamic project too. You can double click and change the name to W Studio. Okay, so I'm going to rename it. On the left side, you can see here are our mockups. There could be one, two, three or four wireframes. It's up to you, okay? Then on the right side, we have project information. If you want to click and describe something over here, you can give some information to your designers or whatever, your developers or other team members. Then there are two modes, sketch and you can see over here, sketch mode is something like this. Okay, so we have like this iPhone over here. So you can see it is a bit sketchy. It's not perfectly round. If I switch to wireframe, you can see it has changed its shape. Uh, it's a bit more precise look. So it's up to you which one you you want to use. It's a bit cleaner. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. Okay. So I'm going to right now delete this. So let's rename this to landing page. Okay. So this is our landing page. I'm going to just make you fam familiarize you with this interface right now. I'm not going to uh, create anything over here. Okay. Now at the top you can see over here we have all assets 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 are basically the files you can import for example if you want to use any images in your mockups you can import them by here going to this project import assets okay in the same way you can import the bmml symbol libraries okay so i have this ios controls dot bmml i can select this file and open it and it is going to be symbols library you can see over here and where I can find it, if I go to this Swiss symbols, you can see I have loaded a lot of bootstrap grids, uh, this iOS 7 alert buttons you can see over here. Okay, so these are iOS 7 controls. You can see these are some uh, toggle controls. So this, these are the controls that were not by default present in this uh, software and I uh, loaded them from this. Okay, now let me show you what other controls it has. Uh, you can go to assets, you can go to big where we have charts and images and few other things okay then you can go to buttons there are a lot of buttons on off switches numeric steppers and a lot of other controls you can also go to common there are icon icon name images links labels okay 
Also, you can go to containers where we are going to use this browser window. You can see over here for our wireframe design. Background forms for forms control icons. We have a full library of font awesome icons over here. Then we have iOS controls. You can see over here. Then we have layout controls like field set, button bars, accordions, site maps, task bars. Okay. Then we have markup. Uh, what are the comments we are going to give? Maybe on the side of any uh, portion of our wireframe. Then we have media where we have images, webcam, video player. Okay. So if you can't find any symbol, just write in over here like B, U. I am going to write for buttons and you can see there are lots of buttons. Button, button bar, circle button, multi, multi line buttons, uh, pointy, pointy button. Okay. So there are also some icons starting with B. Okay. So if I like, like, like bug, you can see over here, we have icon over here, which is a bug. So this is how you use this quick add. This is very helpful tool over here. Also, if you go to symbol, these are the symbols I have loaded. I downloaded the BML file and I imported few BML libraries like bootstrap and I have seven controls over here. Okay. Now also you can go to text when you have to write some heading or label or something like this. Okay. So these are all text imports, breadcrumbs, block of text. You can use something like this if there is no content or you want a very sketchy idea of uh, your layout. Okay. So this is the whole introduction of your balsamic mockup interface. Uh, you can add few more uh, new mockups over here. You can add duplicate this one by right clicking over here on this arrow, rename it, duplicate it. You can also create alternate versions for the same mockup or wireframe you are designing. Okay. Also, there are more controls like uh, you can see if I try to create something, let me just put few things over here. Like I have this and I have this image and I want to align them. Okay. So if it is not aligned, I'm going to select both of them with shift. And if you don't see anything over here, you can click this one information panel. Okay. So this is, these are the controls to align them. Okay. So if I can align them in the middle or I can align them on the left or I can align them like that at the vertical center. Okay. So this is how we align it. Okay. So if we are going to align it versus a container, like I have this browser window. Okay. So I'm going to move it back by right clicking and uh, send to back. Okay. For example, something like this, and I'm going to right click and lock it. So it is not going to move anywhere. Now I'm going to let's not unlock it. And I'm going to move both of them, create a group control G or command G to create a group. And I'm going to move this group according to with this. Okay. So I am going to align it like that. Okay. Also, if you drag something like this, you can see here we have smart guide. It shows that it is the middle. Okay. So it is the left corner over here, something like this. Okay. So if we click over here, you can see, you can also put some scroll bars over here, uh, change the background. So everything about this control, the properties of any control are going to be over here, size, position, layering, extra, etc., etc. Okay. There are a few controls like control, uh, I think copy, paste, uh, maybe group, ungroup and, uh, I have haven't used anything from here. I just use my keyboard because they are very self explanatory key key shortcuts. Okay. So like uh, you can lock over here. Mostly what I do is I lock this browser screen so it doesn't move and place my objects with this with respect to this. Okay. So this is how we are going to use this uh, balsamic mockups. It is very easy to use. Uh, I think I have ex explained a lot uh, and uh, once, you, once you start exploring it, you are going to really love this tool. Okay, so let's move on to the next lesson where we are going to actually design our wireframe. If you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like Atomic Design and 8-point grid system, 
And if you want to learn about wireframing, how to gather project information, ideation techniques, mood boards, style guides, and prototyping, all these advanced web design topics, then you should take this course. Discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video. Get this course now for only $10. Okay. And don't miss this opportunity.